Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of FTB Departed. And to say that I have been busy between episodes, that is an understatement. I have gotten a lot done since the last episode. Uh, as you can see, I've got new tools. I now actually have some armor. Basically, I went on a bunch of mining expeditions and got all sorts of stuff. And I must say, it makes such a big difference when you can actually take a hit or two from some of these nasty critters that inhabit this world. So, what I'd like to do in this episode is I'd start, I'd like to start kind of getting into some of the magic mods a little bit, specifically Thomcraft. Now, Thomcraft is a mod that I personally have not really played around with a whole lot. So, let's go ahead and make some stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to make two iron caps. And these are used to make a wand, which is awesome. Now, normally what I would do is I would make a bookshelf and I would right click it with the wand. And that would give me this, the Thaumonomicon. But I already have one because I found one uh, in the village. There was a little thing that uh, basically tells you... Uh, it gives you a bunch of books and all sorts of stuff. Now, the Thaumonomicon is basically your guide to everything Thaumcraft. So, one thing we're going to need to find is we need to get our hands on research. Here we go. Workbench. What I really need, let me see if I can find it. Maybe it's an NEI. I think it's called a... Thermometer. Yeah, there we go. So let's see. It's two gold ingots, glass, and then two shards. Okay, that should actually be pretty easy. So let's just make... Oh, that's the other thing that I want to do this episode as well. I really like to get tinkers up and running. Get some halfway decent tools. Um... And actually, you know what? I know this sounds efficient or inefficient, but... It's less efficient uh, to... Let's just do... No, no, I already... That's, that's sand. Okay. So, we're going to get the gold going. And get our second gold ingot. There we go. And then I need two shards. Let's just use one of those and one of those, since I have the most of them. And we'll grab glass. And let's see. I think it was like that. Oh, that, right? Yeah, there we go. So that's a thermometer. And that is used for all sorts of cool things. I can look at stuff, and I can scan stuff. There we go. We got some research points. And there's all sorts of cool things to scan, like this torch and all sorts of stuff. But the reason that I want to get into this right away is that down here are my mines that I made. And you can see, I've done a pretty good job of, of mining out basically everything in this area. Not, not quite everything. What is... Ugh. Scary noises. Goblin. Ow! Ow! Stop it! But, having armor. I'll tell you what, having armor makes such a difference, I can actually get hit without dying. There we go, that's probably what's making noises. That faceless runner. But anyway, this, this is an aura node. And it's got all sorts of cool things in it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to drain some of this into our wand. Uh, don't want to drain it too much, though, because if you completely drain it, then I think it disappears. And it doesn't regenerate. And I, I, I completely drained it. Oh, no, it's regenerating. It's just regenerating a little bit more slowly. But that'll give us some basic magic, which is good. That's something we're going to want. The other thing, now that we've got that done, I hear a killer clown. We're just going to leave. We're just going to leave. I don't, I, don't think I'm, I don't think I'm in a mood to deal with killer clowns at the moment. No killer clowns for me. The other thing that we really need to get done is I really need to get some Tinker stuff going, because right now, I've got basically nothing for Tinker's tools, and you know what I just realized? 
I just realized that I'm going to need lava for said tinker's tools. So let's actually grab this bucket and get ourselves at least a little bit of lava so we can get our tinkers on. Okay, can't, I can't, oh, there we go. Stone we can research. Tells us all about stone, oh, don't fall. That would have hurt. That would have hurt a lot, actually. I probably should have just aimed for the water. Anyway, what about andesite? Can I scan this? Nope. Oh, nothing can be learned from that. Oh, probably because it's a a block from mods, not, uh, I don't know. There's all sorts of cool stuff in Thomcraft, but basically, to really get started with Thomcraft, you pretty much just have to, uh, you pretty much just gotta scan everything you can think of for quite a while. So we're not going to deal with it too much right now. I'll do a bunch of scanning and things between episodes. I do have a bunch of grout made, because I gathered a bunch of gravel and sand and clay. There's some more gravel. There we go. And let's find grout. And we're just going to make... No? No? Why will you not... Why, why you no do the thing? Let's try a vanilla table. Maybe it'll work in a vanilla table? No? Ugh, fine. Be that way. It's not that I don't have the stuff. It's just that it wants to be... difficult? Um... Now I'm confused. Sand, gravel, clay. Oh! Dur, dur, dur. I'm losing my mind. It is totally official, guys. Losing my mind. I'm trying to make grout with grout, and what I need to be doing is trying to make grout with clay. There we go. <sighs> it's going to be that kind of a day, I can just tell. Let's go ahead and put some of this other stuff back. And now what we're going to need to do is smelt this stuff up. So, we're going to need. For each stack of this, eight coal. So let's get that going. And I'm going to get that all smelted up, and I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. And we've got at least a, enough uh, seared bricks to get started with the smeltery. So let's take a look. We're going to need some smeltery drains. We're going to need a few of those, actually. Uh, let's just start with four for now. We're definitely going to need a smeltery controller. And then we need a seared tank. And I can kind of tweak some of this stuff later. But that will at least be enough to get me started. There we go. And I think I'm also going to want... One more of those, and one more of those. Okay, so that should be everything. Let's also grab a bunch of our ore, like the gold ore specifically. Um, yeah, let's, let's just go with that for now. Let's just go with the gold ore for now. That should be all right. So, we're over here at the smeltery, and... We need to get this thing up and rolling, because at the moment, it's not really doing anything. So let's go ahead and get some of this stuff out of there. You guys need to hurry up and get out of, out of the smeltery, or this is going to be a really, really bad place for you to be very, very soon. Silly guys. Alright, and let's put this... Actually, you know what? We could use a little bit of emerald. We could use a little emerald in our in our smeltery. I am going to kind of rearrange it a little bit so that it's, you know, kind of set up the way that I want it to be set up. I'm almost tempted to extend it, honestly, but I don't think that's what I want to do. Let's go... where are my drains? Here we go. So we'll put a drain there. Yeah, get out of... get out of the smeltery. You're not supposed to be in there. It's off limits. There we go. And then around the back side, I think, is where we'll put the other ones. Let's, let's go like that, and like, get, get, 
out of the way, villager. No. No. Uh, villager, why do you want to get in there? You, you don't want to be in there. Trust me. There we go. And let's hook those up as well. And I've got actually three casting tables and three basins. So I think we might as well... What was that noise? Whew. I think we might as well go for three of the drains and faucets. It's not like we don't have enough seared bricks. Oh, that's another thing I forgot to mention. You actually get levels in certain things from Advent of Ascension by doing things like mining and uh, smelting and killing monsters and all sorts of things. Get out of here. These things actually would have scared me at one point, but now I have a sword that's fairly powerful and can actually kill. So many of these things, they're everywhere. Look at them. There's just so many. <sighs> it's like a never-ending stream of enemies that want to kill me. Anyway, um, so yeah, you actually get experience from Advent of Ascension in certain topics just by doing things within the game. Things that you would probably do normally. So let's see, where's the other one? Over here. And I suppose this villager is going to be in my way again, isn't he? No? Okay, good. Yes, yes he is. Get out of my way, villager. So we'll put our casting basins there, and our casting tables there, and then we're going to put some lava in here, and I'm going to put the gold in so that we can start getting some stuff going. Now, I do need to get my hands on some patterns and things. Now, I know there's a couple hiding in these houses. Um, like this house right here, for example. So let's... Oh, hello, Sasquatch. Cyclops, not a Sasquatch. Cyclops. Anyway, <laughs> let's see. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just break down all of these. I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. I'm just going to go ahead and break this stuff down. And uh, we will take it over to the smeltery where I can actually do stuff with it. Uh, stencil table, part builder, that I don't need. Okay, I think everything else is good. Some of these patterns I will want. Knife blade, crossbar, sword blade, normal axe, wide guard, chisel head. And everything else is a duplicate. Okay. So let's take all that stuff over to the smeltery and just see... Let's see, where do I want to set that up? I'm thinking I want to set it up maybe right about here? No, 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 no. Maybe on this side. Here we go. We got a nice little space of four right here. This will work. So what we're going to do is we'll put the tool station there. We'll put the crafting bench there. We'll put the... These villagers may be a problem. Let's see. This is the stencil table. And this is the part builder. Down underneath the part builder is where we're going to put another thingy. But leave me alone, bird. Leave me alone. Ugh. All right. Let me get some stuff together, guys. And I'll be right back. All right, guys. I am back. And the gold's all smelted up, which is good. We've also got all sorts of patterns and chests and things. So, I do want to make myself a pattern chest, and we'll see if I remember how to make this. I, th If I remember correctly, you make blank patterns, and then you put a chest on top, just like that, right? Yeah, sweet. So, let's put that... That's not going to do me any good. Here we go. Let's put that right down there. And then... We'll get the villager out of the way. There. Now we can put all this stuff into the chest where it belongs. And that will now allow us to make new and improved patterns. So we'll make a large pattern. We'll make a broad axe. We're going to need the tough binding. Looks like I am going to need some more of these patterns, actually. So let's just do that, and let's just make a, a few of those. 
It's probably more than I'm going to need, but that's okay. Uh, tough rod. Normal tool rod. Excavator. Hammer. Um, shovel. And I think that will probably do it for now. Because now I actually have the ability to make the stuff that I want to make. That being, of course, some more advanced tools. So, the last thing that I'm going to want is one of those. And one more pattern chest. Because this is going to be where we're going to put the, uh... It's where, ooh, it's getting dark. That's, that's going to be where we put the, um, what are they called? It's a thing. The, the thingies that do the thing. I'm forgetting. The, there we go. These things, the casts. That's what they're called. And it is dark, though, and I don't want to work in the dark. So I'm going to go ahead and head to bed, guys, and I will be back in just a moment. Alright guys, I am back, and it is evening, so let's see, can I make ingots out of seared bricks? Oh, I can, sweet. So let's make two more of those, because those are going to come in handy. Never know when you're going to need ingots. And then we're also going to do, I probably should... Honestly, I should probably make this smeltery a bit taller than it is right now. So let's do some of that as well. I can make I can worry about making more grout later. Let's just extend this up a little bit. There we go. That ought to do the trick. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to make some of these parts. So here we go. There's the part builder. Let's just use cobblestone. And I want a lumber axe, and I want a lumber axe quite badly, in fact. So, we're going to make some parts. Where's the tough rod? There it is. We'll do that. We're going to need one of those. Um, what else should we make while we're at it right away? Should probably make the hammerhead, because that's important. And, uh... Did I make the excavator head? I didn't. There we go. Let's make those for now. And then we'll see where we're at. So we're going to go... I'm just going to clear out some inventory space. And we'll just kind of put these down. And of course the villagers. Villagers being derpy. There we go. And then we'll do the same with these. And let's see how much gold we got left. Wow, quite a lot, actually. So we're in good shape there. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to smelt up some iron. And I should... I, I also kind of want to see if this, this limonite, limonite stuff smelts. It does. Okay. So that's actually really good because I've got quite a lot of it. And it's really... It's actually pretty good stuff. It makes stuff that's equivalent in uh, damage and all that. It's actually better than diamond, damage-wise, I believe. Um, but it's also really, it's not hard to find. And I was fortunate when I went mining earlier, I was able to find um, diamonds almost right away. So I got pretty lucky. Let's make some more of these casts. Might as well pretty much make everything right off the bat. Um, tool rod, there we go. There's just a normal tool rod. And we can go ahead and make those right away, too. Because these are also casts that I'm going to need. Now, we do have Tinker's Tweaks enabled. And I don't really know how I feel about that, because Tinker's Tweaks are kind of, eh. They're not really my thing. I don't really like them. Uh, the Iguana Tweaks, I believe, actually, is what the technical name is. But I suppose it'll be okay. I'll be, uh, I'll get by. Let's put all of those in there, and let's, let's make some iron. Let's make some iron stuff. We're just gonna make an iron lumber axe to start with. 
Actually, if I was smart, what I would have done is made just the head out of limonite. Oh well. Too late now. We'll just make the whole thing out of iron. Like so. And then what we really need blocks. And we should have... Do we have enough for four blocks? Four times eight? Oh no, four times nine. We do not have enough for four blocks. Although if I put this in here, then we'll have enough for what we need. So let me get this all smelted up, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and we should now have everything we need. Oh, almost everything we need. Let's try this again. I need the part builder. How do you build the... Or no, it's the tool... That thing. Crafting station with a pattern. Okay, let's grab one pattern from there. Not two, just one. There we go. And now, I should be able to make the tool forge. Beautiful. And we can put that right here. And now I think we have everything we need to make a lumber axe. Beautiful. So now, now I can chop down trees. And I can chop down lots and lots and lots of trees, which is going to be really important because I'm going to need a lot of wood so that we can start building ourselves a proper house. Because right now we've got a house, but it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's a house that was generated by Minecraft itself. It's, it's a very ugly house and I don't like it. Hello, Sasquatch. Let's get rid of those guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on uh, getting some wood between episodes, and then next episode I will be back to build a house. Or at least a better house. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. This also seems to be world's smallest and derpiest village. There's nothing here. There's like four houses. I don't know if there's even a farm here. Ooh, but we do have books. But the big thing is we've got villagers.